there's a new space rivalry. There's a new uh, Cold War, if you like, brewing, and we know about this. This is with China. China is going to be the world's largest economy in a handful of years, and they are going to be the world's superpower in space in six or seven years based on projections. So just, you don't have to see the details, just count the tick marks. That's the number of human launches China has had in their Taikonaut program. Taikonaut is a made up word to riff off cosmonaut and astronaut. Uh, and current Chinese plans, so from a standing start, their budgets have been growing at the rate of their economy. And until the Chinese economy sort of plateaued a little bit in the last few years, that's eight or 10% a year. That's a doubling every five years. Compare that to NASA. And now you can see why from a small start, China is now rivaling, rivaling any space power. And their ambitions are large. They have stated goals of a moon, or a moon base, a Mars base, and a space station. The concern, of course, is that their space program is very secretive. It's not transparent at all. It's very closely twinned with their military. And the concern is they're going to militarize space and put weapons up there. There's no sign of that yet, but that's a real concern. So, you know, countries, the world's countries, are very edgy about China's plans in space. And the Chinese are aware of that, so they're trying to allay those fears. Uh, but that's what's going to happen. There's going to be a new, there is already a new space race brewing amongst companies, uh, countries rather. 